Hi there, football lovers! Share your predictions for today's Champions League clashes. Napoli vs Barcelona and Porto vs Arsenal. Are you through? Then press the like button under this video because we proceed to start. Let's get the show on the pitch! Atalanta will sell Toon Cup Miners only for 60 plus million euros. Juventus are set to be the main favorites for the defensive midfielder. Yesterday, Kanye West was spotted in the stands of Giuseppe Miazza Stadium, watching the battle between Inter and Atletico Madrid. If he could see something through his strange outfit, of course. Music has always played an important role in my life, especially on match days. Music calms my mind and helps me stay calm and relaxed. Lionel Messi claimed, Liverpool are looking for a new sporting director, with Massara and Nises Gizolfi among the candidates. Federico Radondo signed the contract as a new Inter Miami player. $8 million final fee plus 15% sell-on clause to Argentinos Juniors. Here we go! Confirmed. Ineos could surrender direct day-to-day -day involvement at Nice to remove the threat of Manchester United or French club being unable to play European football under UEFA's multi-club ownership rules. Daniel Mellon became the first Dutchman to score against a Dutch team in the Champions League knockout stages. Manchester United have confirmed that Sir Jim Ratcliffe has completed his 27.7% acquisition of the club, following approval of all conditions, including the FA and the Premier League. Erling Haaland has scored his 17th PL goal in 20 appearances this season, and it was his first goal against Brentford. Arsenal? Of course, they have weak points. I'm not gonna tell you what we are gonna do. They need to show us that they are one of the favorites, Diogo Costa said. Allison could be sidelined until the international break. Brazil manager Dorival Jr. has notified that the goalkeeper would not return in time for their friendlies against England and Spain at the end of March. We are really happy with Fabio Vieira, but at the same time sad. It's been a tough period for him. He's a player with enormous talent and we are gonna get the best out of him, Mikel Arteta told the press. Marco Arnautovic and Joey Verman have been named the best players of Inter Milan vs Atletico Madrid and PSV vs Borussia Dortmund matches respectively. Kevin De Bruyne has niggles in his hamstring, Pep Guardiola says, but he's okay. I didn't want to take any risk with him. He's okay, it was more about prevention. He said he didn't feel comfortable and the doctor said not to take a risk, Man City coach said. Twitter waits for it, Twitter gets it. What a joke of a penalty against us, again. I cannot believe there can be decisions like today or against Chelsea or PSG with the VAR, Mats Hummels wrote on Twitter. Inter Milan have won nine matches in a row for the first time under the guidance of Simone Inzaghi. Frankie de Jong? I think that he can stay here for many years to come, Xavi noted. I'm sorry for Marcus Thuram. I never want a teammate to get hurt, but these are my opportunities. This is where I have to make the difference. On the first two occasions, I thought it was still going badly for me. Luckily, the third came in, said Marko Arnautovic after the match. Jadon Sancho played 68 minutes of the game against PSV and his statistics shocked football fans. Zero goals, zero assists, zero chances created, zero take-ons, two tackles one out of seven. Photos of the Netherlands' new home and away kits for the Euro 2024 have surfaced online. I was close to signing for Atletico Madrid in 2018, but it didn't happen. I'm so happy I ended up at Inter. We are growing. This group is very good and I'm so happy to be here," shared Lautaro Martinez after the match. Neymar Jr. in Saudi attire paid a visit to his teammates. Al Hilal footballers were happy to see the Brazilian, who continues to recover from an ACL injury. Real Madrid's board has conveyed to Toni Kroos that he is free to renew his contract at any time. Seeing that Nicolo Barella got injured, the head coach of Atletico Madrid, Diego Simeone, asked to stop the game for the rival side to make a substitution. Bravo! Mbappe will be well received in Spain, and I will be happy to play against him in the derby, Antoine Griezmann told Le Monde. Diego Godin comes out of retirement as he's just signed for Uruguayan side Parangos. Arsenal and Egypt midfielder Mohamed El Nani continues coaching for his club El Nani FC. He has already secured his UEFA B coaching license. Ruben Amorim is at the forefront of the list of candidates to replace the Derby at Brighton Hove Albion next season. The Italian coach is being targeted by Barcelona and Liverpool. Ruben Amorim has an exit clause of 30 million euros. I was very surprised about Chavez's decision to leave at the end of the season. I wish I could have done more for him. I have that feeling, Ilkay Gindewan said. 
Real Madrid, Juventus, Milan and PSG, they are all great clubs. If a call from a big club were to arrive, it would be difficult to refuse, said Tiago Mata's agent Dario Canovi. According to UEFA's annual financial report, Barca earned the most from shirt sales and merchandising in Europe. Barcelona earned 179 million euros, 24 million more than Real Madrid. Levy Colwell on Carabao Cup final versus Liverpool. We want to show we are winners, that we can lift trophies for Chelsea. That's what we are going there to do. Frankfurt release a new 125th year anniversary shirt. Juventus are prepared to join Premier League clubs in the race for Michael Ollis by offering a player in part exchange. Antoine Griezmann has scored 18% of Atletico's goals in the Champions League. For clubs who've netted 100 plus goals in the competition, only Lionel Messi for Barcelona has netted a higher proportion of his team's total. Guys, if you're still watching us without a subscription, it's time to change that. The results of yesterday's fixtures are on your screens. Alright, we are moving on to the main news of the release. Let's talk briefly about yesterday's games. Erling Haaland gave Man City a hard-fought 1-0 victory over Brentford. The Premier League title race is in full swing. There were also two new Champions League round of 16 battles. Inter defeated Atletico thanks to Arnautovic's goal, while PSV and Dortmund failed to find out the strongest side. The hosts responded to Malin's strike with an accurate shot from Luke de Jong. At the pre-match press conference of the match against Napoli, Frankie de Jong answered questions about his potential departure from Barca. There is a lot of fake news in the press. Some of you should feel ashamed. This has to stop. People have invented numbers of my salary. I'm very happy at Barca. I hope to stay here for many years. You are talking a lot about my contract, my situation in the team, and my salary. A lot of smoke. A lot of lies. Reports of 40 million euro salary is very far from what I really earn. Besides that, Sport S reports that PSG are interested in signing Frankie de Jong and are ready to pay 60 million euros for him, but the Dutchman wants to stay at Blaugrana camp. At the moment, FC Barcelona are not working on signing Alfonso Davies. His salary demand is a big problem, as well due to the club's FFP issues. Nothing concrete yet, Fabrizio Romano says. Perhaps Davies' agent is using the Spanish giant's attention to his client in order to get better contract terms from Real Madrid. Lino Messi has donated his 8th Ballon d'Or to the Barca Museum, although he did not win it as a Barca footballer. Messi has made the gesture of giving it up so that it can be displayed along with the other 7 he has won. What an awesome thing to do, Leo! La Liga has announced that Barcelona's annual salary cap has been reduced by 66 million euros. Now it's 204 million instead of 270. The Catalans rank third in the Spanish championship in this regard. Real Madrid retained the largest limit in La Liga, 727 million euros. The top five also includes Atletico Madrid, 303 million euros, Sevilla, 155, and Real Sociedad, 144 million. Girona are ranked 15th, 52 million euros. That said, Barcelona's team expenses, which are regulated by the limit, amount to more than 400 million euros, over twice the limit set by La Liga. If the situation is not improved by the summer, it could create problems for Blaugrana both with the registration of players who are already in the club, Inigo Martinez and Vitor Roque for example are only registered until the summer, and the same goes for the recruitment of new footballers. Mbappe will earn a 150 million euro signing bonus at Real Madrid, Guillaume Balagi reports. Kylian is expected to receive a signing on fee of 120 to 150 million euros, distributed over a period of 5 to 6 years. And this is additional info from COPE. However, yesterday it was reported that Mbappe had arrived in Barcelona. But Madrid fans should not worry much, as Kylian simply decided to rest for a few days in the capital of Catalonia. Ashraf Hakimi and Kylian Mbappe are both in the capital of Catalonia, enjoying a few days off, writes journalist Victor Navarro. Friends, check out these suggested videos from our other channels. Take care of yourself and have a good mood. Bye-bye!